Hello everyone, this is an important public health issue. In the age of Corona in the year 2020 and into the future, I want to highlight the most common mistake in hand washing. My name is Professor Olubai, I work for Marifa Education and I'm a microbiologist. I'm going to highlight a really, really important mistake we all make in hand washing. I want you to watch this child wash her hands the way she was taught at school. What's your name? My name is Zuri Akumo Olubai. Okay, Zuri, go ahead. Wash your hands the way you were taught at school. Okay, so Zuri has put some soap on her hands. Then she's going to open the tap and begin washing her hands. She's been taught to put soap and wash her hands thoroughly, as you can see, which is very good. She's opening the tap again to wash her hands, which is what 99% of people do. Then she closes the tap after that, okay? Now what? Now she has closed her, uh, at the tap. She has finished washing her hands. But notice what the problem is. Those clean hands have touched the dirty tap again. Pretend that this, these are your fingers that have touched bacteria. Okay, this is soil. But pretend that this soil is full of microbes. Then you use these same dirty fingers to open the tap. Wash your hands thoroughly with a lot of soap because of the fear of the virus. And after all this careful washing, my fingers are now very clean. I'll then take my clean fingers to close the tap. In which case, I've just reintroduced the microbes to my fingers. Now, what would you do? Ideally, you should open the tap using tissues. I'll get some tissues. So you open the tap using tissues. Then, you rinse your hands. This would be the proper way to do it. Rinse it first before you touch the soap. Then now you wash your hands thoroughly with soap. You should then not use your clean fingers to close that tap. You should use a piece of tissue from your pocket, hopefully, to close that tap. That is one thing you should do. Assuming that you have no access to tissue anywhere, this would then mean that before you close that tap, you should actually wash the tap. You should wash the tap and leave some water in your hands that for which you'll use to rinse your fingers. That way you'll have removed most of the microbes on your fingers. Thank you. This is a much better designed tap because you can open it without touching it with your fingers. Now watch a quick demo with soil. I'm my fingers are now soiled. This could be microbes of any kind. I'll take my dirty fingers and use them to open the tap. In which case I've transferred the microbes to the tap. Then I'll touch the soap, in which case I've transferred the microbes to the soap. Then I pull out some soap and begin washing my hands thoroughly. And after I wash my hands for a long time with soap, if I am 99% of the people, I will then close the tap with my fingers, which means I've reintroduced the microbes on my fingers. The best way to open this kind of tap is to use your wrist like that. If you have this kind of well-designed tap, you should then close your hands using your wrist and then dry your hands with a clean towel. This is how you do it. Now watch this child wash her hands properly because she has been trained. Go ahead, Zuri. Now you can close the tap, Zuri. Aha, uh -huh, like that. Not with your fingers, then dry your hands. Go ahead, wash your hands. Okay, you can watch a very young child, she's four years old, struggling to do it the right way. She'll make some mistakes, but that's normal. At least we, the adults, we shouldn't make this mistake. You shouldn't wash your hands and then touch a dirty tap with your hands. Okay, thank you, Jai. Good work. Let us all share this knowledge and information about the right way to wash our hands in the age of corona and into the future. My name is Professor Olubai.